Hello, Marketplace. Today is a sad day, kind of, because I have to sell off this massive Warhammer 40k collection. Uh, but it's time. I don't really play it anymore. So I'm going to see if I can sell it off to somebody who will give it the same love that I did. Uh, but it's not just models. So that's why I'm making a video, because there is a lot of things that I'm selling. Well, first we'll go over the models, the juicy stuff. And most, I'm probably talking to what I think are Warhammer 40k people. I'll do my best uh, for people who might be interested in getting into the game. Uh, right now it's in 10th edition. I do have the books, the brand new Space Marine book, the brand new rules book. And the data cards, which makes playing games a lot easier. Uh, also, well, I guess while I'm on that tip, we'll be getting the game cards that are new to this, this set. Uh, and my dice, which is one, two, three, four, five, six things of dice. This is Ultramarines, which is what this army was. Um, there used to be different... Uh, factions <clears throat> now they're all under one heading um, so with the space marine book you can play any army so the fact that they're painted blue isn't a big deal because now it just doesn't matter um, what space marine faction you use they're all under the same rules there used to be a time when it was different codexes books per army, but now it's just one straight thing. Anyway, that's for people who don't know what Warhammer 40k is. Uh, so, yes, we'll start with the models. We have two Gladiator tanks, uh, which are incredibly hard to find right now, and if you can, they're upwards of $180, which is um, about twice what they're worth if you bought them retail. Uh, I make all my models, uh, so you can use different setups with them. I have all the weapon loadouts for these models uh, in other boxes, which are basically right here because I magnetize as much as possible uh, to keep from having to buy more models. Uh, this is an Impulsor, uh, which is a troop transport. I also have one, two, three Redemptor Dreadnoughts. A Ballistus Dreadnought, a Brutalist Dreadnought, and I have two Invictor War Suits. Also, these are, I believe, Infiltrators. I have two squads of those. We have three squads of Intercessors. One, two, three. Two squads of assault intercessors. We have a regular old dreadnought from back in the day. Look at I do that because look at the size comparison to I guess that's probably I don't even know how old that original dreadnought is. Then we also have for size comparison a Terminator Captain, the new one and the older one. And then we'll go back here and we'll look at some HQ choices, which I believe these are, that's a lieutenant with a power fist and looks like a plasma gun. Uh, two Phobos lieutenants, another regular lieutenant with the um, storm shield, two power sword lieutenants, Two lieutenants with master crafted master crafted bolt rifles. And I believe this is the lone lieutenant. I can't remember exactly what he says, what his description is. Then we come over here and we have Chief Librarian Tigerius, the new model. Mag Marius Calgar and his two Victrix guard. The man himself, the leader of everything, the Primarch. His name is 
uh, Rebute Gileman or Gilliman, something along those lines. We have a Librarian in Terminator armor, two Phobos Librarians, straight up Primaris Librarian, a Chaplain on a bike, a regular Chaplain, the uh, Tech Marine, if two Ancients, and an a Ancient for the Blade Guard. Another model that's really hard to get is this guy right here. And he is awesome. I can't remember exactly what he is off the top of my head. He is... I'll come back to that. <laughs> All right, now we also have an apothecary and an apothecary biologist. We have two squads of devastators that I showed are all magnetized. And I have the rest of the magnetized weapons all magnetized and ready to go in this box of bits. And there's three boxes of bits, which tons of stuff. And it is probably weapon loadouts and things that are uh, in the middle of being magnetized. Sorry if I'm going fast, but there's a lot to do. Uh, these are also two Devastator squads, but they're just regular squads, a heavy bolter squad and a squad of uh, missile launchers. Then next to them, we have two squads of Eliminators. We have a 10-man squad of Hellblasters. Two five-man squads of Desolators with their weapons because there's other ones to put on and I didn't want to commit yet until the rules came out. Uh, so those other bits are in those boxes over there. Two squads of Outriders. We have a, oh God, what the hell is that? That is the Stormhawk gunship or something like that. Interceptor, Stormhawk Interceptor. Uh, behind him, we have two squads of suppressors. And next to them are, well, it could be four squads. But we'll just say 12 in, uh, Inceptors, which are amazing. I have a full squad of six with uh, their bolters, assault bolters, and a full squad of six with their assault plasma guns. Behind them are the new Terminators that just came out. And behind them is the new Stern Squad, Stern Guard Squad that uh, just came out. I have one built uh, drop pod. One drop pod still in the box. Then we go to pretty much the best hand-to-hand -hand combat units, which are three three-man squads of Blade Guard, three-man unit of, uh, they're called Centurion Devastators, but they can be either uh, long-range or hand-to-hand -hand combat. I have their... Uh, all their weapons in the bit box over there. Then we have six aggressors and six uh, eradicators. We have a full 10 man squad of Infernus Marines. And in front of them is a squad of Reavers with the um, other knives and their pistols. Then coming over here, we have three five-man squads of heavy intercessors, which are my favorite. I like smiling. It's my favorite. Uh, and I think I went over it all. Oh, no. Now, we also have, uh, for fast attack, these are Vanguard Vets. There are 10 of those. 
Now all their weapon profiles are the same, but I have them with Storm Shields and Lightning Claws. And then the newest Assault Squad are Assault Intercessors with Jump Packs. Um, okay, over here we have, that is a Captain with a Jump Pack. That is a Captain in Grab Armor with a Mastercrafted Bolt Rifle. This, I believe, is a magnetized uh, Grav Captain, uh, which has the, um, I can't remember the name of the sword. But then there's also two more Grav Captains. One is painted. We also have a captain with Relic Shield, regular captain that uh, was in the process of getting magnetized. All his weapons are in with the bits, and two Phobos captains. I do believe that's it. I mean, it's quite a bit. It's, like I said, to put this army together right now is four grand. Um, and some of the things you can't even buy uh, because they're on back order. Um and like I said, man, like I don't even want to get rid of this stuff, but I don't have time to really play it anymore. Um, and I'm hoping it finds a good home. Um, that's why I'm pricing that the way I am. But you get, I want it all to go. So if, if you're going to buy it, you're getting all this stuff. Uh, so let's just move on to the odds and ends. There's some things that you can't, use uh let's say in a competitive game um are these models right here there's a scout squad uh, with sniper rifles which i don't think you can have all sniper rifles anymore uh and the old school bike squad and an old school bike captain but if you're a 40k player you'll find ways to use these models but it's part of the collection uh and all these bits in here go, these are some of the other things that go to the tanks over there. So you can have different tanks. And this, this particular gun right here, right now, is all the rage. The Gladiator, uh, I forget what it's called, but <clears throat> it's probably one of the strongest weapons in the whole game. And I save all my bits, all my sprues. Uh, the, you get a paint set, a full paint set which I forget was how much this was, but there are 55 paints in it. There are brushes. Um, every All the paints are in there. There is a little bit of a rip in the bottom of the box, but it's not something that it will fall apart. And I rarely use the paints. I think I painted for, I don't know, maybe an hour. Why won't this go back over there? Sorry about that. I also have the wet palette. I have it, all the pieces here. There's plenty of uh, things that go inside of it. There's all the brushes that are inside of it that came with it. There's other brushes I'll, I'll show you. This is the box that it's going to go back into. It has everything with it. Like I said, it's there's everything I've ever had I kept. Here are the brand new data cards. Here is the brand new book and the brand new rule book. Rarely used. I only probably played three games since in the past year. Uh, here's the box with all the extra bits from Marnay's Calgar. And that's pretty much what all these are, are extra bits. There is one that has, one of these boxes has all of the instruction booklets in it to for the, all the models. Here is more sprues from whatever I had put together. These are the extra bits. All the extra bits are in here for the Devastators. Same thing here. Just a ton of bits. I have little odds and ends. Like this was from Kill Team, which I never played, but they were giving these away. It's a little counter, which is pretty cool. Oh, all my hobby tools drills for the uh 
to drill out the little holes for the magnets to glue the magnets in. Um, all kinds of paints and odds and ends. Here's the magnets. Uh, here's some of, old, of the older models, which I have another bag of older models that goes with it. Brand new thing of glue. Uh, toothpicks you can have. These are all things you would use. Uh, brand new snips, which I mean I have used. Uh, these are, I think, 80 things, like little cool things to put on the bases. Which I never got around to, which I wish I did because it's beautiful. Um, more paints. These, I think, is black and cragged blue, which are good games workshop paints. More paint brushes, of course. Uh, that is to put basting on your bases. These, this is sandpaper, sanding blocks, whatever smooth out the edges. Here's a full thing of, of, of stain or dark tone that I never got to use, which you can use, like, you use this. Oh, I don't want to bump anything. To put, if you can see, kind of shining, it gets in all the creases, and you do that, and then you do a little dry brushing on top of it. And you have stuff that potentially can look like that while it's painted. My buddy painted uh, about a thousand points up for me uh, when I first got back into it. Um, I think that's it. I think I showed everything. The dice, the cards. So it's everything you could possibly need and or want for a Space Marine Army in 10th edition. And like I said... Well, the price is on the marketplace on Facebook. Um, so I hope to hear from people. <laughs> I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday. Uh, and hopefully we'll talk soon. Take care.